St. Stephen's, um, as I said, has been a, a significant part of my life because of its location and where I lived. Uh, as a youth growing up, I participated in their summer programs, uh, their Bible schools and other activities. It was always known in my neighborhood, which was basically uh, African-American neighborhood, although it was an integrated community, but the majority of individuals were African-American. Whenever the bishop was going to be in town and visiting St. Stephen's, the word was out a week before because this was uh, an African-American church with a Caucasian bishop and he was coming to this African-American Episcopal church. Uh, in the early years of St. Stephen's, when it was located uh, adjacent to uh, Grace Episcopal Church here, they had the first school for African Americans in this community. And there are photos uh, that we have in the archives here. The first indoor basketball game for the high school was there at St. Stephen's in their gym. Many individuals who contributed uh, to this community were members of that St. Stephen's. St. Stephen's was sort of a leading congregation in this community, although it was the only Episcopal church and has been the only African-American Episcopal church in this community. I always refer to it as the lighthouse because it's just during an era of segregation, of Jim Crow, and people passed it on their way to work early mornings or wherever they were going, coming out of the neighborhood. And I am sure, and I did it too, there was a prayer whispered as they passed or approached St. Stephen's on their way into the world, leaving the safe haven of their neighborhood. During this period of time of segregation, Jim Crow, etc. And I've been involved quite a bit, uh, all of my life, but, but certainly a good portion of my adulthood in many, many efforts. I appreciated what was being done within the diocese. If there was going to be change, that had to occur. How can the Episcopal Church become more involved with African American youth? I, I can think of several churches in this community that I wish that uh, the youth in those churches had the advantages and the resources available to them that Episcopal youth have available to them in the Western Diocese. How do you do that? There's got to be some ecumenical conversation. <laughs> but those are the kinds of conversations I think that need to be had. <laughs>